Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. In the last session, we made it to the Forge of the Giants. We defeated the Fire Giant guarding it. And we have the option available to us to commit a cardinal sin. But the way it was phrased made me think that this is possibly a point of no return. So, we're not going to commit a cardinal sin. Yet. Yet. <laughs> we will be committing a cardinal sin at some point in the near future. But... There are things that we need to wrap up before I'm willing to do that. First and foremost, though, I want to head back to Roundtable Hold and see what we can get for the old, uh, the old Membrance. The old Membrance. And see if anything else has changed. Anything new to say. Uh, yeah. There are four more, Nicola of the his twin, Luna Prince and Rani is said to saw here at the if you should learn all trade, we both as such. Alright. The secret medallions are reunited. This is new, right? Ah. I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now Ensha died, mate, a long time ago. <laughs> Both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know, then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. I'm sorry. Your name is the All-Knowing. And you don't know? You don't know what waits on the path ahead? You're literally the All-Knowing? And you don't know? Oh, look at all that. Oh, that is much nicer. Now, you actually can stand a chance of upgrading multiple weapons for the first time in the fucking game. Before now, you didn't have a fucking hope. You could upgrade, like, a couple of things, and that's about it. Now, you can actually upgrade a bunch. What does this say? What? He's disappeared. I'll defile you next. Come to the outer moat. The outer moat. The outer moat of Lane Dell? We'll look at that in a sec. No change there. Greetings, are you here for About the spirits' voices. This is different. I can't hear them anymore. The voices of the spirits cowering from the curse. Right, because he's gone. I suppose the Dung Eater must have left the round table. I just pray nothing ill comes of this. Okay. Well, I took you no matter, it's all the same. Lay out your own. Let's talk a while. Are you having second thoughts? Might I have a word then? Your kind are meant to challenge them. To slay them, the demigods and their god. If you remain loyal to your calling, then no matter what you do, no matter what happens to me, I will never cease to smith your weapons until you have one to slay a god. Cool. Cheers. Still need ancient dragon smithing stone. I feel like I'm right at the end, like the point of no return, I'm pretty sure, is literally where I'm at. And we still don't have a single fucking thing to upgrade to the highest tier of weapon. That seems kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Nothing in here, Fia's long since dead, Ripperoni, in Peeperoni. Okay. Hello. How's it going? You are not looking very healthy, are you? Uh, receive power from Remembrance. Uh, we looked at all of these. So, the Fire Giant. Giant's Red Braid. 
hefty whip woven from the flame red hair of a fire giant. Every giant is red of hair, and Radagon was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps this was a curse of their kind. Unique skill Flame Dance. Imbue the red braid with the giant's flame and lash out in a wide range with a series of agile swings. That is interesting. Do we know a single other red haired character in the game other than Radigan? I don't believe we do. In which case, if every giant has red hair and the only other person in the game who has red hair that supposedly isn't a giant is Radigan, that implies that Radigan is a descendant of the giants, maybe? Because we don't know, like we know Radigan is Marika, but we have no idea where Marika came from, right? We've got, we've got, like, the lineage back up to Marika, but nothing before that. So, I wonder if she somehow is a descendant of the giants. Because that is weird, right? No one else has red hair. Apart from all of the giants and Radigan. Like, that is, I feel like they, they are telling you that, that is a, there is a link there, right? Burn o' flame. Raises a series of flame pillars around the caster. That's that fucking shit he used on me. The fire giants borrowed the power of a fell god, and still they were defeated. Yet their failure released them from their solitary curse to serve as keepers of the flame for eternity. Hmm. Looks all these. That is such a fucking cool looking sword, man. That is so sick. Cursed blood slice. I kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try it, but I can't be asked to respec. Well, that is very cool, though. And what was this one again? Oh, yeah. Wraiths that chase down foes. Meh. Now, go flat the world. Wait a sec. I backed out too far. Was there any equipment? Uh, Veteran's Helm? Where was that from? Oh! An old helm that has seen many battles, worn by Niall, the veteran general of Salt. Niall was a lone survivor who commanded spirits to defend his long past master. This aging general could not die, nor did he have anywhere to fade away. Ripperoni, you little bitch. Uh, anything different there? Nope. Veterans Gauntlets, nope. Hmm. Alright. Now go forget the words. Yeah, yeah. Hush. Hush your gums. Right. Uh the moat? Like here? Or here? Wasn't there a bit where we could go down and then it was empty? Around here, maybe? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Do 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 do. Now this bit over here had no purpose, so maybe? Maybe that's what this is for? Because there was absolutely no reason for this little bit to exist. Or maybe not. Hmm. Oh my god. So much fun. Love those. What a great idea. What a great little idea. Okay, 
Okay, so the other one would be over there. Right, but that's filled in. So what fucking moat do you mean, dickhead? I don't understand. Also, I don't really know if I should be progressing Dung Eater's questline, so if I don't find what to do, probably won't bother looking it up, because he seems pretty evil. <laughs> Whoa. That was weird. Sound just cut out for me for a second. Wasn't there a moat that you could drop down to around here or something? Does this count? <laughs> Invaded by Dung Eater? Oh! I thought I was taken off my horse because that guy spawned. You. Your oh, you yeah, tell me more. Ah! Sucks to suck, dude. Bye. Hello, the sword of my loss. Okay, well, I guess that's that then. Or no, because when an invader dies, they're not actually dead. Hey, man. The sword of my loss. Fuck, where's that going to be? Is that it? Yeah. Sinister greatsword fashioned from a giant's backbone. Meets out wounds like a lopsided saw blade and restores some FP upon defeating an enemy. Mylos was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and terribly grotesque. Shriek of Mylos lets out a horrific cursed scream that reduces all damage negation and status resistances for nearby foes. Strong attacks will change to a combo attack. Alright. Did he go back to the round table? I wonder. R r r r round table. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. You warded off my blessing, despite the curse stirring within you. No one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me that you are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. Right. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse. Again and again. Until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces 
that my one day be fall order itself. Countless I have killed, and countless I have defiled, and soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed, and they'll bear thousands of cursed children, who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me, and they'll kill and defile and bless in my stead, the rotten fools. My fate was the grandest, most brilliant of them all. My corporeal flesh lies in the sewer jail beneath the capital. Give it your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seedbed curse until a curse ring coalesces that may one day. I have seedbed curses on me, right? Three. All right. So we have to go back to the fucking sewers. I really wish this, like, they couldn't because Deep Root's under Lanedale, but I really wish the sewers were a separate layer of map, because... Like, I don't actually know. I don't even remember where he was, honestly. Like, that's the first one. Was there, I guess there was only, was there only one Grace? There was the Grace right outside the boss room, but then I think there was only one other Grace in the sewers, right? And they all just looped around onto itself. So where the fuck was he? Like, I can picture it. I just don't remember where it actually was. I think I found him pretty early on, right? So maybe down here? This was the first way I went, I believe. Through all of this nastiness. I just looped around to here. What was the purpose of that then? There's not a door over there, is there? Whoa, okay, mate. Bro. Surprised that guy never attacked. Are you still chasing? Okay, so it wasn't there. Man, I have no memory of where this shit was. Hello. Was it down here? Oh no! I didn't expect him to be able to fucking come down here. Mistakes have been made. Oh, was it down here? Oh, I think it was down here. I reckon. Haha. Uh -huh. Hey, bro. Like, I freed you. How are you now fucking tied up down here? A curse. A curse. Upon them all. They'll be born cursed. All of them. Along with their children. And their children's children. <laughs> For all time to come. <laughs> Use the seedbed curse. 
Oh boy, cutscene. Not a cutscene. <laughs> Something very grim just occurred. Just see his nose through that crack in his helmet. <laughs> Curse you, Golden. Okay. Did that use all three? It did. It used all three of the thingies. Okay. I guess come back if you find any more then, I suppose, is the idea. Sure. Right. So. Uh. Now. To the Moonlight Altar. Let us explore this top bit. Because we just sort of dashed through it last time. I don't think I'm gonna fight the dragon. I fought so many dragons at this point, it's just like, it's just another dragon, you know. Am I fast? Not really. It's already still pretty high level for me. Now this dragon, however, I haven't even attempted. Oh god, there's another one there. Okay, let's attempt this one. This is just your bog standard dragon. Okay. Bog standard dragon still hurts. Quite a bit. And has a lot of health. That was lucky. Oh, need my stamina back. Bro, that's just rude. Okay, fuck me. Oh no. This is a one-time kill, considering that he's not a boss. Stamina! Cheeky dragon heart, okay. And then there's just like another one. Do I? I mean, you could definitely get a bunch of hearts from here pretty easily. I don't. I mean, it's not 
difficult. I don't particularly want to <laughs> just go around killing them all. That would get old pretty quickly, I think. Let's just explore around. I don't know if there's even anything to find aside from what we already got. Hello, Crystallians. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Right. What are they doing there? What are they doing there? Oh no! More? Do we have to? Oh my god. And, and even more after that. Why the fuck are there Crystallians around here? Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, this looks like a boss area. Try horseback battle. Motherfucker. There's going to be some fucking dragon, isn't there? Son of a bitch. Oh, never mind. It's one of you? Okay. With a fuckload of health, huh? Oh god, help. Oh come on, how is this not hitting? Are you insane? You're out of your mind that all of those direct swings while stood next to him did not connect. Bro. Oh, this is dumb as shit. That was so stupid. I literally fucking, my sword went straight through him like six times over in this corner and nothing happened. Smithing stone? Is this just going to be smithing stones? 
Is this going to be a massive waste of my time? Oh, good. Who gives a fuck about smithing stones? It's literally no one. Nobody cares. What a shit reward. Where is that? We haven't been there, have we? This isn't the... Hello. Can I get down there? Yeah, we haven't been there. Hmm. Is there a path or anything I can get through, or am I just supposed to jump off the edge? Like, I don't know if I can survive that. I mean, I guess I can check. Can. Okay, I guess looking at it from there, it actually looked a lot taller than it actually was, huh? Watch there be like an actual path that wraps around up there or something. I just didn't see it. Never mind. Oh wait. Yep. And that was... Wait, where am I now? <laughs> Wait, no, I wasn't here before. This is a different bit. Okay, that's where I came, and then down to the right is the path. Right. Alright, what have we got in the tower over here then? And is there anything to find up on this ledge? Whoops. Sorry, bud. Grace. Oh god, what am I going to have to do to get in here? What say you? Ah, seek three great wise beasts. Okay, 